Hey there everyone, um, so here I am with another question from Indian Economic Service previous year question paper and the question in front of you is about clarify why a monopolist does not have a supply curve, okay? Why a monopolist does not have a supply curve? So to begin with first let us uh, compare the characteristics of perfect competition and monopoly. So whenever we talk about perfect competition in a PC market, we know that in uh, equilibrium where MR is equal to MC which is, is equal to P. So there is a relation between price charge and quantity demanded. So in this there is 1 to 1 relation between price and quantity and that is why it is possible to derive a supply curve in a perfectly competitive market and as we know that the supply curve is that portion of marginal cost curve which lies above the minimum point of average variable cost which is the supply curve in case of perfectly competitive market but when we are talking about monopoly market so there is the problem of monopoly power right because there is only one seller in a monopoly market and so there is a substantial amount of monopoly power that exists in the hands of these sellers as a result they can price discriminate what is the meaning of price discrimination price discrimination can be a basis of charging different prices for the same product from different customers or also uh, price discrimination can be on the amount bought that is same price can be charged for different quantity of products bought so that means in monopoly it is difficult or let's say it is impossible to have a one-to-one -one relation between price charged and quantity demanded, price charged and quantity supplied. So in a monopoly market, there is no one-to-one -one corresponding price and quantity relation. As a result, a single locus which shows the relation between price charged and quantity supplied does not exist at all and that is why there is no supply curve in the monopoly market now in order to understand this let us refer to the figure let's say this is our figure a and this is our figure b so let us see what is it about so here we have two demand curves okay this is d0 and this is d1 Okay, as you can see, D0 is flatter. That means elastic demand curve. So, what is the meaning of elastic demand curve? So, here monopolist is basically price discriminating. More the elastic, that means less is the willingness to pay. So, to those customers with more elastic demand curve, a monopolist is going to charge low price. And with inelastic demand curve, that means they are willingness to pay must be a bit high so monopolist is going to charge higher price p1 for the same quantity q0 now how is this q0 determined as you can see for both the demand curve they intersect mr and M, uh, mr1 and mr0 at the same point that is this is the point where mr1 is equals to ar1 that is the d1 and mr0 is equals to ar0 that is d0 and at the equilibrium, MR1 is equal to MR0. So at this point, we derive our Q0. That means for both the customers, one with inelastic demand, another one with elastic demand, the equilibrium quantity by the monopolist supplied is Q0, but at different prices. The one who is willing to pay lower price is charged P0. The one who is willing to pay higher price price as per d1 demand curve is charge p1 that means different prices are charged for the same quantity so there is no one to one relation between price charged and quantity supplied in this diagram so there is no supply curve due to price discrimination again in figure b if we note here 
then say similarly as per the willingness to pay there is one elastic demand curve and one inelastic demand curve okay that is d0 and d1 and the corresponding mr curves are mr0 and mr1 now we know the equilibrium occurs at the point where mr is equals to mc so this is the mc curve so this is the MR3, okay, here it is named as um, D2, D3, so MR3, MR2 and MR3, okay. Yeah, so this was the condition here, there MR1 is equals to MR2 is equals to MC, so same point, Q0 was charged here. Uh, but demand curve was different, that is the willingness to pay was different, so different price was charged for the same quantity. Now here in this case, there are different demand curves and the corresponding different MR and here even the equilibrium point is different, that is MR2 is equal to MC is here and MR3 is equal to MC is here. So earlier in this diagram, both the MR curve were equal to MC at the same point. So single quantity was supplied, but the demand curves were different. So that is why prices charged were different. But in this case, um, here the equilibrium quantities are different for different customers paying the same price. Okay, because for the person with D2 demand curve, the inelastic demand curve, the equilibrium condition MR2 is equal to MC is here where quantity supplied is Q2 and the price charged is T2. Again, for another one with D2 demand curve and MR2 uh, supply curve, so the equilibrium is here. That means this is the Q3 that is asked. At the same price, so the demand curve as you can see is here. Price charge for this customer is P2. Price charge for this customer is T2. But the quantity supplied are different so for single price there are different quantities supplied so again there is no one to one relation between price charge and quantity supplied so as a result either due to uh, charging different price for same quantity or same price for different quantity one on one relation between price and quantity does not exist in monopoly market and hence there is no supply curve in a monopoly market